this conference. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Welcome to TED. Um, for those of you who have never watched TED, then I, I should tell you that uh, TED is a conference where the greatest minds in the world come together and talk about technology, entertainment, and design. For those of you who have watched TED, then you know what it really stands for. Talking, ego, and did I mention the ego? <laughs> I'm going to give a TED talk about the one thing that I'm more passionate about in my life than any other. That's right, this is the carrot in front of my horse. This is the thing that drives me. This is the thing I'm an expert on. I'm talking about Yes, stones, yes. <laughs> stones, all kinds of stones. Rocks, pebbles, mountains. If it's a stone, I know about it. In fact, I get stoned every day. <laughs> but I didn't know the value of stones until I was a boy. And I grew up in a normal place, a place many people grow up, at a church in Venice. That's right, I'm Italian. It's easy to tell when you see me, especially Venetians. They look like me. I was in a church in Venice because my father was a priest. It was a great childhood. And I, uh, I was going to the confessional booth every single day. And I thought, well, what is there to confess about? I have nothing to confess about. I am a child. I am pristine. And the father said, well, why don't you go outside and throw stones at somebody? I was like, no, father. The Bible says that things like that are bad. You should do no harm to other people. He said, but if you did, you could come back to the confessional booth and we could spend more time together. And that's when I realized the value of stoning. I walked outside, found a little pebble, and I threw it at somebody. That stone went so fast, it was that day that I realized that stoning is more than just a way of punishing people. And stones are more than just rocks in the ground. They are responsible for this wisdom. Pick up the dog shit, or else it turns to stone. That's right, everybody. It turns into that white, stony shit. You know what I'm talking about. Pick it up. And if you don't pick it up, all your neighbors should stone you, guys. If you're one of those assholes who doesn't pick up his dog shit, you should go to the confessional booth, all right? You ruin it for everybody. Not just me. Not just people in your neighborhood. But you create a huge problem. Thankfully, stones can solve the problems of the world. Global warming pollution, overpopulation, and pigeons. <laughs> Have you ever fed a stone to a pigeon? He hates it. It's really terrible. It ruins his day, and that's what pigeons do to you. They ruin their day. Plus, when pigeons shit, they don't pick it up. That's why we all should embrace stones. Take stones, throw stones, eat stones, and get stones every single day. And if you don't believe me, then I'm gonna look you dead in the eye and say, you got me at hello. I'm Mike Ortiz and that is my TED Talk. Thank you very much. <laughs>